everybody, Ann here, sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you. Betty is another day seizure-free, so that's a good thing. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I want to finish those steps, tearing those tiles off of it. I want to get some laundry started. I want to have another look around to see if there's more mushrooms, because there were some beautiful mushrooms yesterday all around. Um, I don't know if I'll show them to you, because I think, I don't know, did you guys get bored with me showing you the mushrooms? I took a couple pictures of some other things that I don't know what they are, so I'm going to ask you if you know what they are. Um, and well, let's just see what this day brings. But first, I got to make some breakfast, and you know what? I feel like pizza for breakfast is a very good idea. Here it is guys, time to take a taste. I know you probably think it looks gross, but I don't think it's going to be gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's tasty. It is mm, very tasty. Right on Coleman Camp Stove. Mm -hmm. Tasty breakfast. Mm. The cheese, it um, it just melts in your mouth. It is so good. I wish you guys could have some, haha, <laughs> but you can't. I decided to go ahead and get these steps ready for Betty to make it safer for her to go on up and down them because they're kind of slippery with those tiles on them. And I thought it was going to be easy, but no such luck. They had that adhesive on it and it was actually pretty hard to pull them up. But after about an hour, I got all of it up. It just took a while. And uh, almost done, almost done. And one thing too, the, the adhesive is still really tacky. So I went ahead and just got in the mud, in the clay mud, and just put a layer of clay over the top of it. And hopefully it works. And yes, yes, it's not as tacky anymore, so that works. Figured I'd burn some trash too. I've got so many boxes and I can use some of them, but they're accumulating. So I figured the small ones that I couldn't use, I was just gonna go ahead and burn. And you know what? It was laundry day. I had to clean all those linens and whatnot that had gotten soiled when Betty had that really bad seizure. So I've got them in my wash tub, just pouring water over them. This is actually the second time I poured water over them. 
I've already washed them once and um, you know agitated them by hand and now I'm just kind of rinsing them and I imagine I'm gonna probably rinse them a few more times it's a lot of work but it gets my fingernails clean so that's a bonus and then after this I'm just going to hang them up let them dry it's kind of sunny today so hopefully it won't start raining and they will all get dry but man, this takes a lot of water. Each tubful takes about between 10 and 15 gallons. So I have plenty of water, so bonus. Uh, this next part is probably going to be very upsetting for some people out there. The FedEx guy came, UPS came, and yes, I got some more Prezzies. Now, <laughs> um, there are some people who seem to get really, really upset when they see someone out there in the YouTube community, um, whether they're needy or not. And I am not needy. I don't consider myself needy, and I ask no one for anything. But they see people being, ha they see people have a community of people rallying around them and supporting them and liking them and enjoying their content and giving them attention, giving them gifts, giving them money. And it bothers them. And I, I think I understand why. Um, there, there may have been a time when maybe I was a little bothered by that too. And it was a time during my life when I was really struggling. I was working really hard. And um, I was seeing these other people happy, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy kind of people, such as myself these days. Um, and they were, they were getting things from people. People were surrounding them with love and affection and attention and it didn't seem like I was getting any of that myself and it was frustrating because it's like what do you got to do you know to get people to rally around you in such a way well I don't have an answer for that because I, I still don't get it myself personally I don't know why people are interested in my videos um, I love making them and I love doing the things around my homestead in my life. I love doing van life. And so I'm just doing what I love. And I'm, I'm just being myself for the first time I'm in my life. I'm being myself. So I don't know. Maybe that's what the appeal is. Who knows? But people have been surrounding me with love and hope and faith and kindness and benevolence. And... I think that that is a blessing. I think that's a positive thing. I mean, there's a thing in the Bible about it. Yeah, somebody somebody throw up that verse for me, okay? Um, so I am not going to stop showing the benevolence of others when it's directed towards me because I'm just as deserving as anybody else of kindness. Now, there were many, many years where I didn't believe that. And um, maybe that's part of what creates that kind of anger when you don't feel your own self-worth and so that when you see other people who are embracing their self-worth and their and other people are embracing their self-worth sometimes it might be hard to watch when you don't have that yourself well just know that you're gonna have your day in the Sun and it's only gonna come when you start thinking in terms of positive affirmations instead of negativity, complaining um, instead of being um, accusatory, instead of blaming others for your condition in life. I know that there was a period of time when um, I did all of those things and it's because I didn't understand how the world worked and to an extent I still don't. But after very careful self-introspection, deep thought about myself and who I am as a woman, I discovered a few things about myself. And one of those things is that there have been times in my life where I have blamed my unhappiness on things that are external to me. And um, that never ends well for anyone. I think if you look at yourself, especially if you're an adult, especially if you're an adult my age, and you're still discontent with your life and your feelings, there is no one to blame but yourself. And I had to come to that realization myself. And once I did that, 
there was this whole big thing that kind of washed off my shoulders. You know, I let go of a lot of things that um, were hurting me. Um, not blaming others and realizing that, um, you know, you have responsibility for your own happiness. It, it helped me to have kind of like a forgiveness in my heart for certain things, forgiving myself, forgiving others who I perceived to be the cause of my unhappiness when really they weren't. Um, and it just kind of washes away from you. So I didn't mean to get into this big long thing, but I understand what it feels like to be struggling and to be hurting and to see someone so happy and joyful and childlike and stupid like me um, doing just like planting things and people want to rally around me. Um, don't be upset about that because you have it within yourself to do that too. You have it within yourself to share your life and be a positive guiding force for people and share your kindness and your heart and your true spirit and stop blaming, stop shaming, stop accusing, stop judging. And you know what? Your life is going to be just as good as anybody else's, if not better. So I'm, I'm off my soapbox now, and um, I'm going to show you some things that a very special person named Connie sent me. And I'm showing them to you because she put a lot of thought into each and every one of these. So let's get started. All right. First thing, she ha sent me a hose. These came in three separate boxes, and they were from Walmart. <clears throat> she sent me a hose. And this is going to be, of course, as you all know, very useful. I was in town the other day and I was going to get one and I wanted to spend about five bucks. I mean, I've seen them at like Dollar General for five bucks. And the one at Walmart was like eight, eleven. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not buying it. <coughs> Excuse me. So 50 foot, this is going to go right on my spigot. And uh, this is wonderful. Okay. She got me a new tea kettle because the one that I had used I'd actually put over the fire and it was all burnt and everything. So I'm going to take that one outside and this is going to be strictly for use inside and it is beautiful. It is lovely. Oh, this is a big box. She saw that I had injured myself. In fact, I injure myself practically every day in my fingers. Sent me some flexible bandages and these are the good kind and they're antibacterial. She knew I needed something like this, so she put it in the care package. She saw, <laughs> she saw that I had one can of pasta sauce in my pantry, and she saw the flavor. And this is my favorite flavor of pasta sauce, garlic and herb. I think there's like eight of them in here. All right. She sent me two things of canola oil. And this is something, this is like a luxury, okay? Having cooking oil is a luxury. And um, I could afford to, to buy it at times if I wanted to, but since I am so frugal and since I want to work less and enjoy my life more, I tend to forego things like this and just find, um, you know, something else to use or even reuse cooking, cooking oil. So she got me that. I had just run out of peanut butter, and here we go, creamy, and this is going to be good for Betty too to help her take her pills. I needed it. She sent me, one of them got kind of squished, two things of first aid antibiotic ointment. Now me being a nurse, I don't even have any of this left. Um, the last I used it was last summer, and I used it up like crazy. I've got two of them now. This. It's delicious. Cranberry juice. I love it. Um, it's good for if you're coming down with your UTI, you know, which I'm not, but I love it anyhow. It is one of the juices that I will drink. Thank you. Aluminum foil. Everybody knows that if you are cooking over a campfire or outdoors or anything, you need plenty of this kind of stuff. Uh, sometimes I will just cook something right in the foil, right over the fire. So this is awesome. She sent me 
<laughs> Organic, low-fat milk, shelf-stable. Doesn't need to be refrigerated unless you open it. And I think there are, how many are there? There's 12 little milk boxes in there. They're single serving. So that's perfect. Also, oh, I guess it's two of the same thing. 12 more. Real milk on the go. Shelf stable. And last but not least, oh, this is really hard for me to pick up. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I don't know how many there are. Orange juice, juice packs. How many? Forty. Forty orange juice juice packs. I'm going to be able to stay healthy. So, thank you, Connie. You really put a lot of thought into all of those, and um, I know you're one of very few people who have my address, so you're able to do these things. Um, I've taken my wish list down, but you know what? I am going to put my Amazon wish list back up and I'm going to make it public as well as my Walmart wish list. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot on either one of them, but um, I am going to make them public again. And if people, I know how it makes me feel when I'm able to get people things off of their wish lists. And I don't, it's not something that I do, I go out and announce or anything. Nobody needs to, you know, know what I do or how I pay it forward. Um, and there needs to be no speculation in terms of that because, honestly, it's none of your business. It's between God and I and, and my heart and the person that I'm giving my heart to. So I may even put up a tractor supply company um, wish list, maybe a Home Depot list, wish list, maybe Lowe's, who knows. But uh, all I know is giving is good and receiving is good too. Just so long as you keep it in your heart that at some point, somehow, some way you pay it forward. And I can, I will, I already have, and I will again. So anyhow, okay, that's way too much. That was heavy, wasn't it? So let's just, uh, you know, cut this here and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.